Oh, good morning, everyone. NTCUA here, Randy. Uh, I'm going to do a <coughs> product review on um, TechSmith's um, software called uh, Snagit. Um, we just received this oh, a few days ago. I'm playing with it and trying to get used to it. It's a nice little piece of software for those of you who want a quick review. Um, it's pretty much to two thumbs up. Um, only, uh, the, actually, the only con that I've seen, and it's not a major one, it's kind of a minor one, is, in my mind anyway, for someone like me who just does some quick YouTube videos like this, is that it will only uh, give you a 720p video versus a 1080p. But there's some tricks to that, and um, <clears throat> that's so that helps. And one, I guess I'll tell you that trick really quick, is um, when you start up the software... Um, I'll show you. This is the window that pops up when you first fire it up, and you can record either images, videos, or text. And there's also some other options, and you can set up profiles for yourself and everything. Um, <clears throat> down here for capture type, you can do fixed region, or you can do just region or window, which it tends to snap to grid on a window. But um, under region or, or fixed region, um, you can set it up so that It'll record a window, which is what I'm doing now, that is 1280 by 720p. And thank you, Clark, for that information. He's going to uh, enlighten me on that because my desktop is set to like 1290 by, I don't know, some outrageous amount. Uh, we'll check it right now, actually, and I'll let you know because I don't remember. I don't really, you know, memorize all those. So, okay, so it's 1920 by 1080. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It's easy to remember. Um, <clears throat> so if it was 1080, I could do the whole screen. Nice. So maybe they'll change that. A lot of people were um, complaining about it. And perhaps they'll uh, fix that in a future release. That'd be uh, wise in my mind. <laughs> but, um, you know, not a showstopper. Just, uh, you know, a nice to have. And, and in this day and age when videos are, a lot of videos are 1080p, it seems like a logical choice in a product like this that you would uh, you know, build. So... <clears throat> anyway, fixed region, um, you've defined the region. So if I tell it it's to, um, um, 1280 by 720, that's what it'll open up to when I start. And then regular just region, you drag it to whatever size you want. All right, and then you have a choice here of text and image and video. And I'm recording, so I can't really select them right now. Um, so it's kind of how that is. Um, there's some uh, accessories. There was a OneNote. I don't know if you use, if you use Office. You use OneNote. You can actually, um, well, you can print the OneNote, but you can also send um, snag images to OneNote. I don't know if you do videos or not. Um, what else we got here? These are all just—they're all pretty much generic stuff here, really. So let me get that out of the way. Um, their website—they've got some tutorials up here. Well, they say free free training. It's, um, I just click tutorials down on the bottom here. <coughs> and so they've got um, Snagit tutorials version 11. And then down here, a whole bunch of different videos. They're not bad. They're pretty good. They're nicely done. And uh, I mean, they're well written in the sense that, you know, easy to follow, right? Which is good. Um, so and the price tag on this is not bad. I think it's now, it was 49, now it's 42. Round it off. So I should say really 50 and round it off down to, well, round it off to 50 and then the lower price now I saw was 42.95 so round it off to 43. Um, this, if I can get this to shrink down a little bit smaller here, no, I'm not going to be able to. All right, that's all right. I'll drag it over and move it around. I hope. Maybe I can be able to do this. There we go. This is kind of the window that comes up <clears throat> when you first start to record. And I just wanted to show you it has this part here where you can pause it. Shift, it says Shift F10 to stop. It doesn't say what to do to pause. And if you do Shift F9, it'll pause and then Shift F9 again and it'll start back up. That should probably be in the pop up window when it tells you about F9, uh, Shift F9 to stop, but it's not in there. So yeah, I had to kind of find that, figure that out on my own so that might be something good for a future release 
no big deal, but it's there just to let you know. Um, what else? Um, I thought, let me see, file, print, hope I can move this window, yes I can, oh, it's, it's in there anyway. When you do print and you're in here, you can print to uh, snag it. So if you print something even in your web browser or whatever, you know, it'll send it to snag it if you want to and you could use it as, you know, part of a collage or whatever it is you're 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 making or some kind of a presentation. So you're able to do that if you want. Um, also, when you watch this video, you're watching it in 720p, hopefully, um, and that's in the mode that I'm recording it in, as I showed you, that you want to set up the capture area so that it's 1280 by 720, or I guess whatever by 720, I'm not sure about that, but uh, in my case, I'm doing it 1280 by 720, and that um, would prove to be the clearest. Because if you try to do um, the whole screen, like mine is 1080p, it's just a, you know, it's just a lot harder. Some of my other videos are like that, and you can tell the difference. I I could tell immediately as soon as I saved one that I had done in this manner. It was like night and day difference in my mind. <clears throat> so anyway, that's it. They have a Cam Studio software as well. You can take. Um, a video from Snagit and put it in there and edit it. You can't edit a uh, video in uh, Snagit. They do have an editor. However, I don't believe it does video. It only does um, images. So, and that's so you can make a, a presentation out of your uh, your images. So, and again, uh, like I say, one nice feature is that you can do print and print to Snagit. So you could um, Take whatever you've got, and if it's multiple pages and you want to use them all in a presentation or something, you could throw everything together in the editor really easy that way by just printing to the editor. I've not done it, but that seems really nice uh, that idea. And my son and daughter uses a daughter in law, excuse me, uses a, a older version of Snagit, but they don't even use the video part, they use just the uh, in, uh, snag an image editor and make presentations with it and they've done it for a while I guess they have version 8 and uh, they're very pleased with it and uh, very happy with it so anyway that's about it that's my review um, I guess I said it's fine I've been enjoying using it it's very intuitive I actually started using it without even reading any instructions or help files or even looking at the tutorials and it seemed pretty intuitive except for the shift F9 had to figure that out um, and then again, like I say, I wish it was uh, 1080p and a higher frame rate would be nice, but if uh, I had a choice between the two and it can only have one, <laughs> I'd take the resolution over the frame rate. Because I mean, you go on YouTube and you see tutorials of people using uh, video software like this. It's, you know, I'm used to the frame rate. I'm used to seeing a little bit of a, a lag or a jumping mouse pointer or whatever. It's, it's not that annoying to me. I mean, if you're a professional and you're doing professional videos, I mean, really, you know, intensely professional, then, yeah, you know, you want, you know, 30 frames per second, and you want 1080p, and so on, but, you know, for us, they're just doing these quick videos for YouTube, it's, it's fine, I think, um, <clears throat> as far as the frame rate is concerned, but still like the resolution, though. And that's about it. So thanks to everyone for watching. Um, again, uh, two thumbs up with the minor issue with the resolution. And other than that, I think it's a nice piece of software. You know, it's um, reasonably priced. It's in the ballpark of a lot of the other stuff, unless you want to go out into open source and, you know, talk about free stuff and all that. But then there's issues with support and so on. So, I mean, that's the same with any piece of software that falls in open source versus something you're commercially purchasing. So take care. Seven threes for now, and uh, we'll see you again on the next video. And to see you later.